getting out of bed. And I thought it was so ironic today that I'm going to be talking to you guys about finding a purpose to get out of bed. And I almost didn't make it out of bed this morning. Um, but I did because I had a reason to get up. And have you ever asked yourself, why in the world should I even get out of bed this morning? Why why do I need to, to go through this day? Um, there's really no reason to be here. And a lot of times when I ask this question to myself, it's because I don't have anything pressing for that day. And there's nothing on the agenda, nothing on the calendar, and no reason really to get up. But... I still need to get up because there is a greater purpose for me to get up that day. And if I forget my main purpose in life, guys, I will just sleep. Or either I will get up and I'll drag myself to the coffee pot. Maybe some of you guys can relate. Grab yourself some coffee, get yourself fueled up and try to make yourself look alive. So you can drag yourself to that job and drag yourself to lunchtime and drag yourself to break if you get another break and drag yourself to your car to drive home and drag yourself back to bed and you feel like there's just this weight on you. And sometimes I, I feel that way when I forget that I have a purpose for getting up this morning. And I want to ask you this morning, why did you get out of bed today? Why are you dragging yourself through this day? And if you don't have a why that drives you to get out of bed this morning, um, you're going to be tempted to stay in bed or you're going to be tempted to just drag yourself through this day. And, and I want to be an encouragement to you today that the only way to be successful is to find that reason that gets you out of bed every morning. And when I was thinking of finding your purpose for getting up, I thought of Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant is known as one, one of, I'm not going to say the greatest, because you got Michael Jordan and other people before him. You got Shaquille O'Neal and, and other great uh, basketball players. But Kobe Bryant was a great basketball player, and we, we have talked about him recently because, you know, he tragically lost his life in January before COVID-19 hit, and that was the main tragedy in America. But he was a great athlete, and, and he was driven. In, in high school and in, in the NBA, they would find him in the gym early, in the morning, out there practicing, and after practice, he'd be practicing some more and playing games with the guys. And after the games, they'd play some pickup games together. He was driven and always out there trying to get better, trying to do better, and trying to be a great basketball player. But not only a great basketball player, but a great husband, a great dad, and he was successful in doing those things. Um, when he played for the, for the Lakers, his coach, Coach uh, Byron Scott, said he would find an 18-year-old sweaty rookie Bryant in the dark gym two hours before practice doing individual shooting and dribbling drills. So that man was driven. He had something that drove him to, to get out of bed. So let me ask you guys, Motivation Family, what is that one thing that drives you to get out of bed? What does God's word say about this? And Christina helped me find this story. I remember hearing it when I was um, in Mobile. Uh, a guest preacher came and preached on this passage. And Christina pointed it out to me again last night. And it's John chapter 5. And in, in the context, let me set this up for you guys. Uh, Jesus went to Jerusalem, and he's passing by um, a sheep gate pool um, in Bethesda. And this is a very beautiful place, and people would congregate there because there was a big pool there. And it was rumored that a angel had came and touched that pool at one point in history. 
So every time it would bubble up, people would think that that meant that they would get healed. So a lot of paralyzed people, a lot of sick people, a lot of blind people would congregate at this pool waiting for the water to bubble up and waiting to, to get in. And there was a man that was laying there for 38 years, guys. And the Bible says he was lame. That means his legs didn't function. He was paralyzed or something was wrong with his legs. And lame does not mean today what it meant then. Lame meant you couldn't walk back then. So for 38 years, this man laid there at the pool of Bethesda. His only purpose, guys, was to get up and go to that pool so that he could get something better in his life. And there was nothing wrong with that man going to that pool, seeking something better in his life to be healed. And there's nothing wrong with getting up and going to work, guys. There's nothing wrong with getting up and taking care of house cleaning, taking care of children. Uh, teenagers, there's nothing wrong with getting up and playing a few video games. And college students, there's nothing wrong with getting up and, and, and trying to find the college that you want to go to or looking for a job that's not shut down from COVID-19. There's nothing wrong with that. And, and that might drive you to get out of bed, guys. But what more is there for your life that drags you out of bed? So here's what happened when Jesus meets this man. Christina posted that up for us. And Jesus has a conversation with him. When Jesus saw him laying there and knew that he had already been there a long time. So Jesus knew he'd been there a long, long time. He said to him, do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I'm going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, this, this is your word today. Y'all with me? Get up. Take up your bed. He had a mat that he would lay there on. Roll it up. Roll up your bed and walk. Now, remember, he's telling a man that has not walked for 38 years. His purpose was to be healed by this pool. And now Jesus comes and says, I'm going to heal you. Don't worry about that pool. That's a wrong focus. And at once the man was healed. He took up his bed. He got up, guys. And he walked. Now that day was the Sabbath day. And that's very important. I don't want to keep going into the context there. But later on in the context, the Jewish officials got mad. They got mad when this man whose focus was on getting in the pool to get healed, they got mad when he had a new purpose. And he began to walk on the Sabbath day, and they knew that this man could not walk. And instead of praising God that this man could now walk, the Jewish religious leaders were so religious that they got mad because he did it on the Sabbath day. And uh, if you know anything about Jewish culture, the Sabbath is holy. Um, they had strict mandates to the Sabbath. You couldn't do hardly anything. And uh, there are still some Orthodox Jews who, who still hold that practice today. So some of them got mad at him when he had a new purpose. And some people, some people are going to get mad at you. When they see that you now have a new purpose in life and it's driving you to get up. Now, maybe you feel like this man today. Maybe you feel like you're just dragging through your life. You're, you're waiting for something better to come along. And, and, and there's no greater purpose in your life than just waiting for something better. Waiting to make more money waiting to get into the right school and waiting to grow up so you're not a teenager playing video games in your room. But, but let me tell you, there is more to your life than what you're currently living. And Kobe Bryant, as great as he was as a basketball player and a man and, and a father, um, he was always wanting to be better. And that was his purpose. That's what drove him out of bed every morning. And 
everyone has a general purpose and your general purpose guy is just to bring glory to god so your number one reason to get out of bed is to bring glory to god and i can't tell you beyond that what your special purpose is because everybody has a special purpose kobe bryant was made to play basketball and I don't know what God has created you to do, but you have certain gifts, uh, certain abilities, certain talents, certain knowledge that's not being used. And what God does is he takes your passion, he takes your knowledge, he takes your abilities, he takes everything you have, and he uses that to make your purpose. And for me, my purpose is to get out of bed to motivate you guys. God showed me that when, when I resigned as youth pastor, I was wondering, what am I going to do now with my life? What, what do you got for me, Lord? And the Lord said, morning motivation. So we had started that almost three, year, three or four years ago. Now I have to go back and look. And my purpose every day is to get up and bring joy to you guys to motivate you guys and to receive motivation. That's why I get up every morning. And I don't know, why do you get up in the morning, guys? And maybe you're having a hard time figuring out why you get up in the morning. I'm going to give you guys action steps real quick. If you're wondering why you should get up or you want to find a greater purpose in getting up, can you let it on the porch? Find a greater purpose in, in why you should get up. Number one, remind yourself that you have a purpose and staying in bed and dragging through the day is not an option. So maybe the alarm goes off, dee, 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 and you say, oh, man, why do I get up? I want you to remind yourself that you have a purpose and staying in bed is not an option. One guy said, um, why don't you go to bed? He was still an ill. And his friend said, why don't you go to bed? He said, if you're in bed, you're dead. So that's true. There's only two things you do in bed. You die or you sleep. So you got to get up. Number two, ask yourself, how can I bring God glory today? What can I do today to bring you glory, God? And if you stay in bed, you can't bring any glory to God. Number three, dig through your toolbox. Your toolbox of knowledge, talent, abilities, spiritual gifts, hobbies, passion, and anything that you're not using, find a way to utilize all those things. So you have a purpose today to bring glory to God. Uh, you got to get out of bed. It's not an option to stay in the bed. Dig through everything in you that God has put in you. God didn't put it in you to sit there and not be used. So find out what you know, what you can do, um, what spiritual gifts he gave you at salvation. He gives you a gift. And lastly, pray that God would show you his special purpose for your life. So there's some action steps for you guys today. And I, I firmly believe, and I am encouraged, it brings me great joy as I think of you guys, my motivation family, waking up every morning with a purpose. If we, if we just understood that we have a reason to live, and we have a reason to get up, and if we find that one thing God wants us to do, can you just imagine how productive we would be, Motivation Family? We would be getting things done. Our attitude would change. Our emotions would be better in check. Um, things in our lives would, would get done, and God would get glory. Um, businesses would get started. Ministries would get fulfilled. Um, people would... would, would go overseas on mission trips with Mike and Steve as soon as we can do that again. And and we would go out and tell people about Jesus every day online or at the grocery store, wherever we see them. Just think how different 
our lives with thee, if we really understood that we have a reason to get up, and if we get up each morning seeking God and asking, what do you want me to do today? So I want to pray with you guys real quick before we go into the prayer request time that God would help you find your purpose. Let's pray real quick. Dear Jesus, I pray for my motivation family this morning, whether they're on YouTube or Facebook. I pray this morning that they would understand that there's a reason for them to live. There's a reason for them to get out of bed today, and they don't need to drag themselves through work, through their work schedule. And they don't need to waste their time playing video games or trying to think about their future. Show them that this is the day that you've made today for them and help them be productive in this day and find that purpose you have for them. In Jesus' name, amen.